Whoa, okay, here we are again this year to talk about Ohio State versus Northwestern playing in the Big Ten Championship game. A game, again, like last year, you think if Ohio State can win, they're probably going to go on and play in the college football playoff. Got off to an okay. The first drive by the Buckeyes, missing a lot of guys today. Olave at wide receiver seemed to be the one that they really missed. But on the first drive, not bad. The freshman Fleming in there making a few catches. But when it gets down inside the red zone, the drive does stall. Buckeyes have to settle for a field goal. They do take a three to nothing lead. But they were only able to manage another field goal and then a missed field goal in the first half. Fields not looking good, missing passes, throwing interceptions. The only good news was Northwestern only got one touchdown in a field goal. So it was 10 to 6 at halftime. Both defenses playing pretty well. Northwestern's defense looked really fast. Definitely the way they were hitting, they were trying to just knock the ball loose on every tackle. Very, you know, the tackling much better from Northwestern than we've seen out of other teams, including Ohio State this year. And then uh, they get the ball to start the second half. So going into the half, Justin Fields and the Buckeyes not looking great. The only big thing they had in the first half was a run by Sermon that led to a field goal. And uh, so they're trailing 10 to 6, and Northwestern's going to get the ball. Luckily, Northwestern can't do a whole lot. The Buckeyes finally managed to get it in the end zone to go up 13 to 10. They follow that up. They tack it. Looks like, you know, another big Sermon run is going to lead to another touchdown, but then no. Uh, the Buckeyes had forced a couple of turnovers, too, there in the second half. They forced a fumble. They intercepted a ball. Proctor almost picked one off in the first half. That would have been huge. Didn't happen. But in the second half, those plays started to come into play. You know, they mentioned on the on TV there, Clatt did, that maybe Northwestern was trying to wear Ohio State down. But late in the second half, it was clear that Northwestern's defense, all that energy and aggressiveness they played with in the first half, Looked like they were starting to be a little bit spent late in the second half. Fields never did get it going, get it together, really. You know, the Buckeyes led 16-10. to 10. They finally stuck it in again to go up 22-10. to 10. That's fine. They get the 22 because they go for two. They don't get the two. Keeping it at 22-10. to 10. And uh, the whole second half, it was just all sermon, sermon, sermon. It was pretty obvious Fields wasn't going to get it done. His second interception looked like some mis miscommunication with a receiver. A receiver that's not in there a lot of times in crunch time. So they just sit on the lead, giving it to Sermon all day long. He breaks another. I think he had two carries today that went for over 50 yards. Two more carries that went for over 20 yards. And then just a bunch of 6, 8, 10, 8, 12, 4, 8 yard carries. Adding up 331 yards. 29 carries, 331 yards, two touchdowns. He wanted that last touchdown at the end badly too. You know, 26, 27, 28, 29, those carries, man, he still looks strong. Like I was saying about Northwestern's defense wearing down, the Buckeyes' offense line pushing, Sermon racking up the yards, the clock ticking, and uh, he was not able to get that third and final touchdown, however. But he did, however, break Eddie George all-time record. Probably, I think it had to be a Big Ten title game record, I'm guessing. I don't know that for sure, but I think it was a Big Ten title game record as well, I would assume. And if it wasn't, oh well. Eddie George, congratulations. You got enough records, man. Let Sermon have something. And it's been a year. It's been kind of, you know, slowly coming for Sermon. You know, coming in from Oklahoma. He's had a decent year. He's had his moments, but couldn't quite take off. They've only had five games coming into today. This is the sixth. Dabo. The I don't know. Sorry, Dabo. The Buckeyes are headed to the playoffs. Look at that over there. Ryan Day hoisting the trophy over there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I don't have a trophy to hoist, but I would. So, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully, most likely, looks like we're headed to the playoffs. Rough day for field. Something with a thumb, you know. Something going on over there with the thumb. Speaking of thumb, why don't you give me a thumbs up here, even if you're a Northwestern fan. Give your own team a thumbs up. They played well. I think maybe they played a little too hard early, though. Conditioning could have been a factor. The Buckeyes having 22 players out, definitely a factor. Not to make any excuses, but boom. Thanks for watching this year. Oh, we still got some left. But anyhow, thanks for tuning in throughout the year, even though there's only been like four bucks. Oh, well, you know what the deal is. Boom, boom, boom.